closure of a Green Bay paper mill after 122 years of operation. Georgia Pacific announced last year it would gradually decrease operations at its Day Street plant over 18 months to close it. The company says it's due to a change in consumer demand, bath tissue upgrades, and investments at other Georgia Pacific facilities. Our Emily Riley on this story for us today. So Emily, what kind of legacy? I mean, 122 years is a long time. What kind of legacy does the plant leave behind? That's right. There's generations of families from this community that have worked there over the years. And that's really just the soul of uh, this plant. And kind of when I was speaking to a local historian today, she said families, you know, workers there, they would have bowling teams, they would have softball leagues. It was uh, just a great place to be. And uh, people really enjoyed working there for over a century. Um, so, you know, they would have picnics, things like that. It was that was really just the heart of the plant. Yeah, it it's certainly a major employer here in the city of Green Bay. Now yes. you think of any facility if it's around for 100 plus years, obviously it, it, it's a success story. And, and you know, and it kind of put Green Bay on the map as the what toilet paper capital of the world we're known as. <laughs> yes, I was just about to get there. So it is we are the toilet paper capital of the world. And that's because this plant I learned is the birthplace of the quilted northern tissue. Um, so it really just was, you know, a powerhouse for economics here and um, did put us on the map as far as paper production, especially. And um, even I was, you know, the historian I was speaking to today said uh, it just evolved over the years and was just able to adapt. And toilet paper is just something that people will always need. So it has just been successful for over the, all these years. What happens now uh, to, to the folks that, that have worked there, uh, you know, continue, maybe not ready to retire, want to continue to work, and they had their last shift there today. Yes, today was the last uh, shift there for those workers. Um, uh, a lot of them are transferring to either the Packerland location or the South Broadway location. Uh, they said a majority of them are, mm -hmm. so they don't know exactly what the future plans hold for the plant itself, but um, as of now, there's no immediate plans to tear it down. And many of those workers are just transferring to other uh, branches where they plan to expand. Kind of an end of an era, really, on Day Street. Any, yes. I was going to ask you, any discussion of what becomes now of the plant? Have they talked about that, or is that still to be determined? It's still to be determined. They said it's too early to say, um, but like I said, there's no immediate plans to knock it down. It's um, still in the works. But just going to be empty now for a yes. while. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Emily, thank you very much. Look forward to your full report coming up tonight.